I think we said it was scheduling conflict. Okay, that's what we said. That's what we said. Yep, Amy Schumer was right on Watch What Happens Live last month. Back in 2017, Amy told Variety that she could no longer commit to the film due to scheduling conflicts. But six years later, and about a month before the film would hit theaters, Amy is admitting she could have made time, she didn't want to. Yeah, it really was just like creative differences. While at the time, Amy called Sony and Mattel great partners in the process, she now says Sony, not so much. Telling The Hollywood Reporter last month, they definitely didn't want to do it the way I wanted to do it, the only way I was interested in doing it. After Amy left the project, Anne Hathaway circled it for a bit, and then Margot Robbie's production company approached Warner Brothers about taking it on, which of course they did, and then Greta Gerwig got involved and wrote a whole new script, and the rest is Barbie history. I can't wait to see the movie. I think it looks awesome. There's like a new team behind it, and it, it looks like it's like very feminist and cool, so I will be seeing that movie. Was it that it didn't feel feminist and cool when you were involved in it? It was yeah. a little, yes. Yeah. Right, so now the feminist and cool version of Barbie is the biggest opening of the year at the box office this past weekend with $162 million, while the other half of Barbie Heimer, Oppenheimer, exploded at the box office as well with $82.5 million. It looks like Amy saw both, as a lot of people did. On Instagram, she posted this photo and wrote, Really enjoyed Barbie and Oppenheimer, but I think I should have played Emmy Blunt's role. Do better, Hollywood. To be clear, Amy wasn't ever attached to the Christopher Nolan drama. But yeah, I mean, this is nothing new in Hollywood. Like, we see this happen all the time. Like, a project kicks around town for years. There's different stars attached to different points. There's different directors attached to different points. And then it finally comes to fruition years later with, like, yeah, a totally different configuration of stars and director. When Amy was attached to Barbie, it was a different studio with a different script. It finally made it to the big screen six years later under a different studio with a different script, with a different star, with a different director. But yeah, what do you think of Amy having fun with it all?